Hello everyone and welcome back to my sunroom on this beautiful day in April in East Tennessee. Our big April Fool's joke yesterday was we had snow. We've had really warm temperatures lately and then yesterday the temperatures plummeted here in East Tennessee and we had snow flurries. It wasn't enough to accumulate but it was really beautiful because the trees around here are blooming. So it was almost a magical day. So we've had a cold, snowy start to the month of April. Today, I'm going to cover a topic that keeps popping up on my channel. What do the numbers on my fertilizer mean? And how do I know if there is calcium and magnesium in my fertilizer? So I'm gonna go over some terms today that will help you and we're going to go over the major nutrients in your fertilizer and generally what they're for. Let's look at the label on my Better Grow Orchid Plus as an example. It's a 2014-13 fertilizer. That means it contains 20% nitrogen, 14% phosphate, and 13% potash or potassium. The symbol for nitrogen is N, the symbol for phosphate is P, and the symbol for potassium is K because the Latin name for potassium is callium. These are the main elements or components in this fertilizer and it also contains trace elements that are important for the health of your orchid or plant. Your guaranteed analysis of what makes up your fertilizer is on the back of the packaging. And as you see, here's all the numbers and the percentages of all of those elements. So nitrogen is listed first. What does nitrogen do? It makes the plant grow. And there are two kinds of nitrogen in this fertilizer. There's nitrate nitrogen and ammonical nitrogen, about half and half. And as you see, it contains no urea nitrogen. That's important to know because urea nitrogen isn't recommended for orchids because it requires the bacteria found in soil to break down. So the two forms of nitrogen in this, nitrate and ammonical nitrogen, can be broken down in soilless mixes like bark and moss. And the second number on the packaging is phosphorus. Phosphorus helps the plant use and store energy. It aids in the photosynthesis of the plant, so it helps plants to grow and develop normally. The third number is potassium, or K. That helps to move water around the plant. It promotes a strong root system and strengthens the plant's ability to resist disease. So nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium are the main contributors of my fertilizer. It is missing calcium. Better Grow Orchid Plus does not contain calcium. On orchid fertilizers or on plant fertilizers, if there are three numbers on the package, it's referring to nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Some orchid fertilizers have five numbers listed on their packaging. They list CA as calcium and MG as magnesium. For example, this is what makes up MSU, orchid fertilizer. It's a 13 nitrogen, 3 phosphate, and 15 potassium with 8 calcium and 2 magnesium. The CA is for the calcium, MG is for magnesium. So you know you already have your calcium and magnesium in there and you don't have to supplement calcium and magnesium. So what does calcium do? Calcium is very important in keeping new growth strong and healthy like milk does in humans. Magnesium is required for photosynthesis in plants. It's required to give leaves their green color 
and it makes blooms more beautiful and vibrant. So this is a basic overview of fertilizers and if you're interested in more information about fertilizers, what I use, how I use it, I have a fertilizing playlist on my channel that I'll provide the link to in the description box below for you. I hope all of you are having a beautiful Easter weekend and I would love to say the blessing over you and your families and your orchids. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you his shalom peace. You all make it a great day and we'll see you next time.